Good day, good day, Geeky Dad back again for another YouTube video. And today what I'll be showing you is this thermostat. So what does this thermostat do? Well, you can connect a heat source or a cool source to do different things. Um, so some people can use it for seedlings to uh, help grow um, some plants in ideal temperatures. Could be used for brewing, can be used for aquariums um quite a lot actually what i'm using it for well my kids got some sea monkeys i said oh how can i geek this up so i've got a heat mat being winter coming up to try and keep these fellas a lot warmer um so the thermostat has a thermometer that's uh this one's waterproof and uh it can detect what uh temperature you're at so i've noticed uh measuring it in different ways that um this unit is about 1.3 degrees cooler than what it actually is, but that's fine. It doesn't bother me as long as I know uh, what the tolerance is, I can adjust around it. So what's uh, this device? It's called the AnyCool AC-212. It's uh, cheaper than a lot of other alternatives. I found this for $28 Australian um, at a local store and uh, they do have this online i go well let, let me give it a try um what you can see here is two things plugged into it one is your your source uh, for heating or cooling one or the other it doesn't do both and another one is uh, something for a timer control so i put a light um to help some algae grow for these fellas and uh, you can put two different types of schedules on this on this one here um it is pretty full featured. Uh, you can uh, you know, set your desired temperature, your heat or cool mode. There's daylight and, and nighttime settings. Um, you can set uh, what uh, tolerance you want. Say uh, if, if I've set this to 25 degrees, um, I don't want it plus or minus three degrees. And that's when it will kick on the, the, the heating element or not. There's also an alarm and you can switch that off. I switched that off because I don't really need it. To toggle that on and off, you hold the top two buttons and then you present it with a no or a alarm. So the buttons is like a forward and a back. Uh, there's a, the last one is an exit and this one here is like a program button. Um, and I'll run through the menus. I might need to do it several times because it, after a few seconds it times out. Um, but let me run through what the different uh, icons are on the display. So the frost, if that's flashing, then that's uh, cooling. Um, the next one that is with the wavy lines, that means if it's, it's heating. The one with the light bulb means that the timer is active and whatever's connected it is switching, switched on. Um, this one here is the alarm if you're uh, out of tolerance. There'll be a sun in this area if you're in day mode. Uh, now that we're in the evening, we're in, in night mode. The M, um, if that's flashing, then uh, you're in the sort of programming mode. Um, it'll say cool if, you're, if you've configured it for cooling. Um, but I've got it for heating, so it shows heating. Then you've got, um, uh, what's that one say? RT, uh, real temperature. So that's the temperature that it's detecting now and uh, your timer and that's the actual time now. You can toggle through all the different, uh, you know, what's been configured. So that is uh, when my night time starts because it's flashing. Oh no, hold on, let me double check here. Yep, so that's when my night time starts because the night is flashing, no alarm. Uh, that is uh, the tolerance I want my temperature at, is it? Let me double check what's flashing there. Yeah, tolerance, because that's flashing over there, the little icon there. So, um, oh no, that's, uh, no, sorry, that one. That one's the alarm. Um, if it's uh, four degrees, that's when the, the alarm will flash. Sorry, that's a little alarm icon over here. And then when it says DL, that's my difference. So I don't want it uh, to, I want the heater to kick in when it's one and a half degrees uh, from my set temperature. So DL one and a half degrees. I've set it at 25 and a half degrees. 
and then from here I've got uh, so I'm going through the menu backwards unfortunately let me go back through the front again so um, so the top button will make, maybe go forward rather than, than backwards so I've set it to 25 and a half um, I want my L1 is your first timer so my first time is going from a certain time then to a certain time then you've got your second timer I haven't got this set. So if you set your, your from and your to to the same time, it will actually disable that timer and that means it will be off. Um, so if you've got them both to off, then nothing will work on this on this load. So from and to, oh sorry, from and to, from my second timer, then uh, no alarms. All right, so you do get some more options when you're in the program menu. So to get into the program menu, you hold this down for a few seconds until the M starts flashing, and then you can scroll through these. So let's hold this down. M's flashing, okay. So that's my cool mode or heat mode. So I'll leave it on heat, and then I'll press program. My real-time temperature set, press program. Nighttime mode, what I want the temperature to be at night time, set. My differential that I want, 1.5 degrees. Um, this is the alarm, 4 degrees. You notice all these icons are flashing at the same time. Uh, this is my, my first timer. I want it from hours and minutes to hours and minutes. Then I'll go to my second timer, hours and minutes to hours and minutes. Then this is my actual time. It's 18.07 at the moment. And this is a date, what I classify as daytime mode. So hours, it's 8 a.m. until uh, 18. Um, and then that's when nighttime starts at 18. So you see before it went from the sun to the moon. And there you have it. Now I'm, uh, and then I'm back at the beginning. So to exit, press the last button. And I'm done. So look, there's, there are other alternatives there. Probably ones with uh, a better uh, user interface. There's ones that are even, um, you can manage the timers and the settings or from your mobile. So that brand's called the Inkbird. Um, you can even control two loads. You can have something that heats and cools. Um, or you can have two different heaters. So you can have, for those that have reptile tanks, for instance, you can have a heat mat and a bulb. Um, but for me, just for these little fellas, so I've got a heat mat um, uh, for both of them. Even if I wanted a second heat mat, I can, if I want, put a double adapter on this and it's only a five watt thing, so I'm not going to overload this at all. Um, and uh, yeah, it's got a little suction cup as well to hold the, uh, the little temperature probe on there. And that's about it. Um, I've, I've been using it for over a week now. Once it's set, it's set up, then you just forget about it. It's, it's pretty pretty simple. Um, I wish you didn't have the beeping sounds when you press them, pressed all the options. I'm glad that you can at least disable the alarm. And uh, this display, it's not always backlit. After a few minutes of inactivity, it'll switch off until you press another button. Um, you can mount it if you really want to. Let's see. But uh, you can only mount one or the other the way that the notches are. You won't be able to do both. So if you do that, you'll probably be hanging on one side and you have to be looking at the display at one side. So yeah, 28 Australian dollars. I think it's a good buy for a cheap little DIY project for my boys. Um, so I can't complain. Uh, yeah, tell us what you think. Um, add, add something in the comments. Like, subscribe, hit, hit that uh, bell. Um, that really helps me out. And uh, until the next one, see ya.